Hallo, hier ist der Matthias von Gizmodo. Ich bin im Vorfeld der IFA bei Qualcomm unterwegs und neben mir ist der Wayne. Hi Wayne, nice to meet you. Hi, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. And you got a very interesting system here. Um, please tell me about it. So here we have a bunch of all-drone devices in our house here. And uh, I guess I'm going to show you a demo. And what's going to happen is all these different devices are going to react and interact with each other. Okay, I'm very curious. How does it work? Okay, so maybe I'll just talk about all the different devices. So first we have um, a uh, device by Hire. It can detect air quality. And it can detect when the air quality is good or bad. And when that happens, it sends an event, an altering event, onto the network. And then all the other different devices are going to interact and react to it. Uh, we also have an all-play speaker by Panasonic here. And uh, this speaker is going, has been programmed to say fun things uh, as a result of different events that occur on the system. We also have uh, LifeX bulbs, so one's over there, um, and then over, over there as well. And similarly, those are going to react to the system uh, when, when things happen. And finally, we have a, a higher AC unit over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this pencil in here that's going to simulate bad air quality, and we'll see what happens. So here we go. So it takes a, little, a, a few seconds for it to detect that the, bad, the air quality is bad. And then there it goes. Bad air quality detected. AC has been turned on to improve the air quality. So a, a lot of things just happened, so let me walk you through it. Number one is sent out a notification, and then it appeared here on my talk watch uh, that the air quality is bad. Number two, the speaker spoke to tell me, hey, air quality is bad. So may maybe, maybe uh, you know, I'm in a different room, I didn't see the lights flash, but I could hear this. The third thing is the lights did flash to tell me that the air quality is bad. And then finally, we programmed the higher AC unit to turn on to help improve the air quality. And then finally, I know it's really complicated, but then the higher AC, uh, when that went to cooling, okay. it sent out another event, and then that LifeX bulb reacted to go blue. Okay. It sounds really amazing, but who's programming all this stuff? It's, uh, it sounds so uh, creative. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the thing here is that all these different devices, they all use AllJoin. And so there's a common interface and common API that gets exposed out. And so developers, any developers like an app developer, can now that they have access to these APIs can create these really interesting programs to create these interesting use cases or, or, or just very, they can be very, very creative. Okay, I'm very interested. Look, it sounds so cool and so fun. Um, at home, I have uh, the light bulbs uh, from Philips, uh, Philips U. Uh, how many companies are already uh, into all join? Okay, the, there's a lot of companies. There's actually an alliance of companies, the Allstein Alliance. And with the Allstein Alliance, uh, there's a group of companies that are, are really trying to further all join as the, the core technology for the Internet of Things. Yeah, we have a whole list of companies over here that I can show you. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Um, it's, it's so cool. I switched to German again. Thank you, okay, Wayne. Sure. <laughs> also, das war Matthias für Gizmodo. Wenn ihr noch Fragen dazu habt, dann schreibt es unter die Kommentare. Alles dann.